And if you allow yourself to think in narrative form, like a story, then you can hold that together. The, the real advantage of a narrative theology is that it, it can hold together what otherwise would simply be paradox and uh, we'd have to come up with one view or the other. So the Trinity then is a way in which the narrative of God's reality <coughs> can be both the one who created the world and is sovereign above us, but he's also the one that's entered in along with us. <coughs> and the problem <coughs> that we often face is how do we connect the reality of our doctrine of God with the reality of people's lives? And I say we do that in narrative form. Every person has a narrative. It's their life. It's their suffering, their losses, their pain, their questions they're raising. Where is God in my life? That's their narrative. So, my God, why have you forsaken me? That's the narrative of humanity. There's also a narrative. God said, I hear their cry, the Old Testament. I've heard them in Egypt. I love them. And because of my love, I'm going to come to them. I'm going to, re I'm going to redeem them. I'm going to bring them out. And they will be a sign that I love and, and, and am willing to include all the families of the earth. So there's that narrative of God's love and God's grace. Now, the job of pastoral ministry is to connect those two narratives.